Hi, I'm Amanda and I'm here with Justin Ross at the Fluke Biomedical headquarters in Everett. Um, we're going to be chatting about the ESA 614 today and all the um, neat features it has. Um, just a little heads up, we're not doing a Q&A today, um, but feel free to leave comments and we will get to those after. Um, so Justin, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I've been a certified technician for about the last 17 years, working for a small independent service company in Pennsylvania. Um, prior to that, I'm a, I was a Marine. I'm also a firefighter and a rescue technician, so I got a big background in working with patients and working with the, with, um, the community. And as you know, we recently launched the ESA 614 um, and have been receiving a ton of qu questions. So if you could run through some of your favorite features, um, I know people would love to hear. Sure. So listen, we really listened to the customers this time. We went and looked at our products. We had the 614 and, uh, I'm sorry, we had a 612 and a 615. And you'll notice the 614 looks a lot like it. In fact, it's the same chassis. So what we did is we went and listened to the customers and we got rid of the things that weren't working right and some made some major improvements to it. So the same device, all the same features you used to love with, a new, with uh, some of the things repaired. Some of them are the nice, easy to carry handle on the back, the rugged fluke durability. We know it's gonna work the first time every time if you drop it. We heard about the power cables and how we didn't like that nice thick power cable that was constantly pulling the device off. So we have a new 15 amp power cable. It's thinner, it's easy to move around. You don't have to have the plug adapter and it's about another two feet longer. So you have more room to reach to your device you need to test. Plus, we added the ability to print labels. Uh, filling out those labels after your, your inspections can take a while. And uh, we've made the automation a lot more affordable. Um, and it's a very capable unit. So we can use it anywhere in a hospital from anesthesia through x-ray. That's awesome. Um, can you just touch more a little bit on the benefits of the test automation? I sure can. So we listened to the customers again, and the ESA 612 and the 615 had five loads built in it. We had the AMI loads, the ANSI loads, the ISO loads, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of our customers said, listen, that's great, but we really don't need it. We really only need the AMI ANSI load. So we got rid of those other loads, and that made it a much more affordable option for our customers. Um, now we can, it's pre-built into here, so we can set up our test automation in here. You set it one time and forget it. You can take it out to the floor and do what you need to do. Um, so that way you know every test is done the same way every time. Set it one time, forget about it. We have other things we need to worry about in the hospital. It's a busy day as a biomed. Let this device do everything for, for you. So why not record it all? There's so much data that needs to be recorded now. We want to know why a device broke and how it broke and where it was at. And this device has the capability of recording all that for you. And then storing it to an SD card, you get back to the shop, you pop it out. You download the information and it's all there. We're no longer writing data down and all these costly steps. So it really makes optimizes your day as a technician. That's awesome. Um, and just, I know you mentioned that this could be a standard work for a biomed. Can you speak on how um, using test automation can do that? Sure. So we talked about this. So every facility has a different way of doing things. Um, you might be following the Amy ANSI standards from, I'm sorry, the NFPA standards from 2012. You might be following them from 2018. So now we can get into the device using a simple keyboard. It's just any off the shelf USB keyboard. Unplug it, plug it right into the side of the device, the size 614. We can get into our mm -hmm. test then, and we can alter the test. You might not want to do reverse polarity testing, or you might want to do something different. With all the different makes and models and different tests, don't try to memorize all that. Program it in here one time. The manager of the department can program it in. Then they send it out with the technician, and every technician does the same exact test the same way every time. And it's all saved in here for you. So you're no longer having to worry about which ports to use or how to hook it up or which power you need, or forward polarity, reverse polarity. Set it one time, save it, and it's so easy to do. Plug it in, get into the menu, hit edit, and off you go. Wow, that sounds awesome. Is there any final other pinpoints that you want to point out? There is. The 614, just like the predecessors, the 612 and the 615, is capable to work anywhere in the hospital. If you're working on patient monitors, we have five, five applied part ports across the top. It's simple enough. You can either use the banana pins that come built onto it, or you can add the snap adapters. If that's not enough leads for you, you're working on EKGs or defibrillators, we sell a, an optional one to 10 adapter, plug it in, and now you can bring up the 10 leads onto the front of the device. Or if you're working on your defibrillators and you have your hands-free adapter, 
from your impulse 7000. Simply unplug it from impulse 7000, plug these into the next two ports. So you can literally adapt this thing to doing whatever you want to do. Now that you're hooked up like this, you can just fly right through the test and push the button, automate it, let it push the buttons for you, but you're doing all 10 leads of your defibrillator, plus the hands-free adapter, plus your ground wire resistance all with one hookup. For the technicians who are working in x-ray, the point-to-point -point feature is still in here, and we have this amazing 50-foot cable. So if you're testing electrical safety on your rad fluoro x-ray tables, mm -hmm. simple cable, plug it into the front, And then you can take the alligator clip off, connect it to the other end of the cable, and you can move the whole way around the OR or around your x-ray room. And we can also work the same device, nothing different about it, but we can also take this down and work an endoscopy. So if you're an endoscopy and we're working with these T-probes, we have the ability to test the T-probes and get the exact leakage readings on it. This is the dual pin adapter. Here's a simple adapter that works. Plug it into the top of the six foot Fifth, four, I'm sorry, playing the top of the 614, and off you go. So it's infinitely capable. And we also heard technicians saying, that, you know what, if I'm the whole way across the hospital and I do a break a cable, lose a cable, eat a cable, it gets lost, it gets broken, it's really not a big deal with this device. All of our cables are interchangeable. So the, right here, this is one of our older multimeters. Simply take the cable off the multimeter, plug it into the front, zero it out, and you're off and testing again. You're not losing any time. And time's valuable in the hospital. There's so many devices to check anymore. That is just the beginning of the capabilities to it. We still have the five lead patient simulator built into it. We have mega ohm testing. We have a built in amp meter, built in volt meter. So many things are built into this device, so it's adaptable. You can use it in any of the departments. You can move it right across the board, and you can move about your day and get your results on this big LCD backlit screen. That's awesome. Sounds great. Well, thank you, Justin, for joining us and running through all this. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below, and we will get you an answer or reach out to your local Fluke Biomedical sales rep or visit us at www.flukebiomedical.com. Thank you, everyone. Thank Bye. you.